Hey everyone, it's uh, been a long time coming, but I wanted to make hopefully a series of short videos about why The Last Jedi was so bad, and for this video I wanted to talk specifically about Luke Skywalker. More specifically about Luke being cut off from the Force in the film, which it sums up essentially as, the reason cutting Luke off from the Force just doesn't work was there was no emotional weight to this decision. What I mean by emotional weight is, it just doesn't matter to the viewer. To understand what I mean, let's take a look at the ending to arguably the worst Fox X-Men film, X-Men Origins Wolverine. At the end of this film, Logan gets shot in the head by an adamantium bullet, which essentially wipes his memory. This is the climax to the film that we all knew was coming, yet when it finally arrives, I couldn't care less. Why? The answer is because he's the same character before and after the event which makes the event itself mostly irrelevant. Let's look at Logan from the original X-Men trilogy. He's presented as a loner with a short fuse, a gruff exterior, and a heart of gold. In X-Men Origins Wolverine, he's presented as a loner with a short fuse, a gruff exterior, and a heart of gold. The only difference is he has a love interest. Oh wait, I guess that's not so different. The point I'm trying to make is, Logan's memory loss doesn't work due to the lack of emotional weight to the event. He's more or less the same character before and after, so it doesn't really matter from a storytelling standpoint that he lost his memory. With Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi, we find him almost completely isolated and cut off from the Force, a shell of his former self. And besides being angry, I ultimately don't care because in the end it doesn't matter. Approximately halfway through the film, Luke reconnects with the Force like it's nothing. Like he flipped a switch. Flipping switches isn't that hard, is it? On the other hand, look at Mitra Surik, the Jedi exile and protagonist of Knights of the Old Republic 2. Here we have a character whose link to the Force was forcibly severed because of her actions in the Mandalorian Wars. Throughout the game, she, and by extension the player, must grow and struggle to re-establish and strengthen her connection to the Force. The result is, by the end of the game, a fully developed character who struggled to become powerful again, one the player cares about because of the time and emotion they invested. With Luke in The Last Jedi, it doesn't matter he's disconnected from the Force, because he can, and does, reconnect with it at any time without struggle. There's no emotional weight to the decision, so there's nothing for the audience to latch onto and care about. Luke being cut off and ultimately reconnecting with the Force is, for all intents and purposes, another thing in the movie that just happens. And instead of giving thousands of fanboys the feels as their hero struggled to reconnect with his destiny, Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy gave us a sad old man who refused to deal with a problem he created. Alright, what do you guys think? Give me your thoughts in the comments below, and... The Force will be with you. Always.